All right, tomorrow kicks off auction season here in Northwest Pennsylvania. And uh, we're gonna go down and check it out and see what we got. We got about eight, nine months of auction action. BB. Graybeard. That's red power. Oh! First thing right in the gate, we got a Glencoe 7 shank. And uh, boy, this looks like uh, it's in pretty legitimate shape. All the parts and pieces are here. Um, everything's froze. We got rain. And uh, well, I don't know if we got rain, but we got some form of moisture that come out of the sky and then froze last night. I'm sure if you didn't park your car in a garage, you had a heck of a time just getting into your car. So <clears throat> this is in really nice shape. Glencoe 7 shank. Uh, we got some implement tires here. Come right over here. We got a 716A John Deere insulage wagon. Looks like on a John Deere running gear, and that's heavy duty. HD in excellent shape. Um, I know I got some green guys that watch this channel sneaking in, giving me them sneaky views. Uh, selling reserve as it should. Uh, Batco 1335s. Yep, and this, these look brand new. I mean, electric, and there's two of them in tandem. Let's go up, check out that New Holland sitting there. New Holland Boomer sitting here, and this is a landscaper's dream right here. You got the belly mower. You got the front loader for the, the mulch or whatever you're doing, the stone. Uh, got a three-point hitch in the back. It's got the uh, quick hitch attachment with the, oh, what is that, one and seven-eighths ball. Yep, right there you go. Snow blower there. Um, hopper goes on the front of a, a forklift. And I won't even try to lift that because I'm sure it's locked or frozen. Yeah. Uh, we got a fuel tank. How many of these are you going to pass up at auction before you finally break down and say I'm buying one? Um, huh. All right, we come over here. There's a 450C track loader selling with reserve. I guess this engine was overhauled and uh, the undercarriage was done. Just some stuff was done to it. I uh, can't wait to hear Benny and the Jets fire this thing up tomorrow. This would be a fun toy to have. Of course, if you go to my playlist on the Farm All 400, you'll see that... Uh, the IH 2000 loader that's on it, well, I, I used it to do the job that this thing should have been assigned to do. <clears throat> A Clark 323 forklift, and man, this thing's like off-road heavy duty. I mean, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what this goes for. Um, Tell me what you think this will sell for. Oh, wait a minute. He's got a big listing here. This machine is serviced. Filters, charge and grease ready to go to work. It's a 1978 John Deere 450C. Owned for about 12 years. Engine increased in cubic inch from 219 to 239. So there you go. Completely overhauled. Yeah. Bid with confidence. I'm not trying to play Captain Obvious here, but that Clark is green. John Deere powered diesel. All right, got a John Deere 337 baler here selling with reserve. Looks to be in pretty good shape. Yep. New cylinder right there. Hoses look good. Black Ford Ranger XLT. I don't know the year. Selling with reserve. I bet I can't even open that door. It looks like somebody tried. <laughs> Based on the foot. Oh no. Oh no, she opened. Yeah. All right, a couple things missing there, but uh, I don't know.
I can't believe they didn't leave the key in it. I'm shocked. Yeah, it looks like 137,000 miles. There you go. Spare tires right there. Got a case 1070 here. And uh, apparently they drove this tractor in. And this going to go about 108 horsepower. We'll check out the, the rear. Uh, rear skins don't look too big on it. They're 18 434s. It's the same thing I have on my 756. Yep, it's got the dual remotes, three point. Looks like the original top link on there. Um, I've never heard anybody complain about the power that Case offers. So I guess bid with confidence. They actually sold one, I don't know if it was last year, last year's February auction or the year before, but there was a Case, I think it was a 1370, and that tractor sold. So there you go. Got another Glencoe here. This is a 4,300 12-footer. Really, really good shape, field finisher. Um, and then if we look right behind it, there's a flail mower there. That's a John Deere. And, um, man, what's that going to go, 7 foot? Anyways, um, I've always liked a flail mower. You can put the hammer blades on there. and You just get a little cleaner cut than a brush hog. And uh, with the hammer blades, you can also cut thicker stuff. And uh, check this out. Got a uh, pallet wrapper. Yep, pallet wrapper right there. And I'm sure Wildcat Willie, when you sent me my pallet full of parts and pieces, um, maybe you used one of these because it sure was wrapped nice. Got another silage wagon. This one's a Myers heavy duty, selling with reserve rear unload. I'll show you that here. There you go. That even comes with the SMV. You're all set to haul it down the road. They got a 2003 Chevy half ton sitting here. It's got a, a good sticker till 12, 1222. So that's not something you see every day at an auction. Got a almost a year on it. There you go. Doubt I can open it. Doesn't look like anyone's tried. Yeah, well, when I doubt, it means I can. Okay, it's going to have a digital readout for the years, but you see what you see. You see what I see. Another New Holland. This is a TC35A, and I think I saw this same model sell at uh, one of Chesley's auctions a couple years ago. Um, and I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's 35 horsepower. Another, you know, small size tractor for... I don't know if you were a landscaper this would probably come in handy really it looks pretty good selling with reserve yellow tag you go around the back jack got the three-point hitch and I don't see what I wanted to see which was a rear remote but there you go Got a sure track trailer here. Looks like a car trailer slash equipment trailer. 9900 GVW 2010. Pennsylvania title. Got an eight foot three point hitch snow blower. The color is red and white. How would this look on the back of the 756? Of course, it's got the John Deere cylinder but you know deer in the rear we're all good <laughs> oh it looks good i think this thing i think this thing could do some throwing now you hear guys talking about oh yeah i scored at the auction well you buy one of these and you're definitely going to score td touchdown you buy two that's 12 points all right that'll get us kick started first auction of the year february get all the dust blowing off and the rust shook off and there we go and there we eventually are gonna grow our fleet i'll see you tomorrow that's a fact <laughs>